Did you know that there are only 80 days left in 2021? So here's a question for you. What are you going to do to finish the year strong and get ready for a powerful 2022? Let's chat about that and more today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. This is the Wandering But Not Lost WBNL podcast where real estate and reality meet. And now your hosts, Jan O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, welcome to the Wander We Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 184, and you can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jan O'Brien, it's our favorite time of year, business planning, la la la. I think it's my favorite time of year. I know, I too. It's awesome. (laughs) Okay, October is business planning month. We've been talking about that for years, and I'm very excited to bring the materials back out and, and shake them off and maybe give them the... COVID update, like, you know, like it's time to get super serious about everything, meaning, you know, COVID has changed so many things for all of us. And, and, you know, but what doesn't change is setting your goals and having a business plan for the new year, but the way that you may go about it might have changed. And that's what I want to cover in the next uh, today and the next three weeks, right? For the whole month of October, WBNL coaching in the podcast is going to bring you, break it down into bite sized pieces what you need to do to get yourself ready for an amazing 2022. That's right. right. So so basically what you're saying is we're going to give the business plans a little shot. Yes. I want to give it a boost. Uh-huh. Get your vaccination, get your booster. I'm going to give it a booster. Hey, there you go. Your business okay. plan booster for 2022. Get your in. shots, by the way, go get your flu shots and your yeah. God's sakes by now vaccinated, hopefully. My cousin's a teacher up in Oregon. She was getting her booster, her COVID booster yesterday. So you oh, know, go Oregon. Oregon. That's go awesome. Oregon. Okay, that's funny. Yes, yeah, so we're definitely going to do that. And of course, we want to say right up front, you have, if you don't already have it, we have a completely free mini course on business planning. You can go tell them about where they can go, Mr. Emerson, and and why we don't get into the weeds of it during the course because uh, during the podcast because you know we got it all for them in this nice course. That's right. You can go over to wbnlcoaching.com on our homepage. The second menu item is called freebies. Well, that's appealing, isn't it? If you go to freebies, we have four free courses there actually, and one of them is two of them actually contain business planning. One is agent fundamentals and business planning, and then we have just a separate mini courses for business planning. You're going to get a lot of the well, actually not a lot, all of the the Excel spreadsheets and charts and helpful aids that we're going to talk about today and over the next three weeks uh, or four weeks as well, um, uh, all located over there. Or if you don't want to just get that one course, you want to get all of them, you can join our Dream Builders, become a Dream Builder. If you uh, become a Dream Builder with WBNL Coaching, you get all of our free courses, all of our free downloads and access to our monthly live trainings. So just go over to WBNLCoaching.com once again, click the big green button that's right on the top of the uh, website and you are good to go. Big green button. All right. Well, let, let's dive in and talk about this prep for the business plan, which I always like to do the first step of business planning is to review your year. Yeah. So we, need, we need to go back. That's like, yeah, what that, that I was just promoting next week, Jan, okay. already. All right. Oh, okay. Got it. Uh, sorry. <laughs> that's we, what I was doing, we, of course. We apparently we didn't practice uh, ahead <laughs> of time. I know that's actually good. That is what we're going to do next week. We're yeah, going to we talk are. about writing your goals, but I really feel it's more important to get a a feeling about where are you so far this year. And today's show is all about reviewing your year to date and making any adjustments that you need to do to finish these next 80 days strong, right? That's the whole key here. So uh, there's, you know, we don't want to wait till January to to make course corrections and, and put things into place. And trust me, this is what I'm doing right now in my business and realizing that it's so easy to procrastinate and talk about, I'm so busy and these are all the things I need to do. And yes, it it is busy. Real estate is busy. It takes a lot of time to handle all the details, but it's the the first thing to go for everyone is, is lead generation. So we're going to talk a lot about that. And I, you know what, Matt, you're going to be proud of me with this and because you are very much about keeping things simple. And I, in the last few years, when we're talking about business planning and goal setting, when we talk about it next week, I think it needs to be a lot simpler. And it just needs to be broken down into what's important to you and then what are the actions that you're going to take to make it happen, right? And I really want to start that 
thought process today. And if you stay with us through October, we will get into the weeds of very specific strategies for your business, for your real estate business. But it's also about your whole life, right? You can't just be focused on your business. It's it's a finding that delicate balance between the two. And we'll talk about tracking and measuring your results and what's working. We've been talking about it all year, but it's time to tie it all together. All right. So there's four things that I'm going to cover for everyone today. And the very first one is, um, and that we've talked about that. So we're going to, we're going to um, be covering things in bite-sized pieces. So I like this. Matt came up with this last year. Activate your fourth quarter superpower is what you had last year, Matt. Did you see that in our um, previous notes? I was like, yes, because our wonder twin powers activated. Right. So I'm going to cover four key points today. And the first one is to conduct a business review, a year to date business review. Yes, I know the year is not over. However, what you've already accomplished in the first three quarters and, and what you do between now and the end of the year is going to help you really. To be honest, unless you get something in escrow right now, under contract right now, and maybe the first week or so in November, that's all you have left closed for this year as far as if you're trying to talk about earning income. So everything you're doing now is going to finish the year strong, but set you up for a great first quarter of 2022. So without getting into the weeds on this, I just want to share with you that we have an amazing document that actually, I think I have it broken down that... And if you saw in our notes today for the show, I have a document that just allows people to just get the year in review. It's it's tied to our, it is a page that's in our business planning. Right. Um, however, I, I think we broke it out and I want to give that to everybody. If you go over to the show notes today at WBNL Coaching or WBL Podcast, either one will get you there. You can get this document, which is going to let you take a look at these key metrics for your business. Okay, so what we're going to do is how many listings have you taken, listings sold, uh, buyer represented transactions for your closed um, deals. But then you really want to get the numbers. This document will let you pull the numbers in because I think it's important to know what was your sales price ratio, list price to sales price, meaning in this market, everybody is pretty much at 100% unless you really overprice the listing. You know, what is your average sales price? You know, how, how long were your listings on the market compared to the rest of the market? What kind of transactions did you do? You want to gather this information just to get a sense of, did you have goals for 2021? Did you meet them? Are you on track? Are you ahead? When I do a coaching session with someone, this is where I always start. Okay, where are you year to date? How many transactions have you closed? What percentage were, were sellers versus buyers? Where did they come from? What do you have in escrow? How many, how many people are you working with right now that could potentially turn into a listing or a sale? So you got to start there because that's going to allow you to make some decisions. When we talk next week and in the following weeks, we're going to talk about what do you need to tweak? Right. What sources of business were working for you? Uh, so let's move forward here. And I think that's what I uh, was next. Yes. Uh, identify where did the business come from? This amazes me when I sit with someone and say, okay, tell me where all your business came from. And everyone always says, well, it's people that I know. And then when I make them look at the list of all the houses that they sold, and they go back and do this exercise and put down. Sometimes it generally surprises them to go, oh, actually, that came from that actually came from a sign or I got that from the farming that I was doing. Or actually, I found that person at an open house. You have to know this because if you're spending thousands of dollars farming and you're not getting any business from it, then do you really want to a, continue to do it? Maybe the answer is yes. If you analyze what's not working, like maybe it's what you're sending out. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's not the right area. Um, so you could make you have to make these kind of business decisions when you do that. So take a look at your sources and then what are your target markets? Did you spread yourself too thin this year? Did you were you what were you doing to stay in touch with your database? Could you have gotten some more business from your database? Were you intentional in all of that? Uh, I think that's so important. And then the analytical part of that, the financial part of that is to go back. It's a great time right now between now and the end of the year. Your accountants will love you. If you went back and updated your budgets, updated where did you spend? You know, what was the return on investment? And also to actually fill out some type of a, of a spreadsheet. And again, we have this in our business planning. It's the last tab of our business plan. I think it's like eight tabs, right, Matt? Uh -huh, that's right. The last tab is what most people who use our business plan template love because it allows you to track your closings for the year. 
and it actually allows you to do what I'm talking about right now. If you if you were to start, go back and do that now, then you can analyze where you are. And if you just get into the habit of always posting your listings, your sales, and your closings, and put and fill this form out in our business plan, then this part of analyzing your business is going to be super easy. My average sales price was 420. This many days on the market, you know, I had a higher list price than I did a buyer represented sales price. And most of my business came from here, my database, but I did get 20% from other, you know, things that I worked on this year. This is really what you need to be able to do. And then you want to, you know, go back and really do a self analysis around, did I actually do the work I said I was going to do? Yeah. Did I work my plan? Yeah. Did I work my plan? Did I allow myself to get chaotic, run around like a crazy person and not actually focus every day on um, generating more business, right? Which is what I want to talk about at the end here. Okay. So that's your first part. You review and you get the numbers and you get like you do the analytical part. Now, point number two is to refocus your intention and create just fourth quarter goals. Okay. Create some mini goals between now and the end of the year that I think will help you get really aligned and focused. So here's some ideas around that. How many listings do you want to take between now and the end of the year? Set a goal because then we're going to talk about what you have to do to go make that happen, right? How many listings will you take? How many buyers would you like to get in escrow between now and 1231? That's what I'm talking about here. Now, to, to support those two goals, how many appointments are you willing to set? You know, do you have a number in your mind that says, I need to set this? If I want to have three listings, then I need to get at least six listing appointments as an example, okay? Um, how many connections to be able to get those appointments are you willing to make? And that means calls, text. Do you want to set up some Zoom meetings with people? How many are you willing to do on a daily basis hmm. so that you can set appointments with buyers and sellers so that you can actually get the listings and the sales? And then if you don't have people to call, then we're going to talk about what are you willing to do right now to revisit with your database or to do some other activities like open houses and so forth, or maybe even do some geo farming. What are you going to do to see if you can generate some more business between now and the end of the year? All right. So that's on that side. And then let's also look at, remember, we always like to talk Matt, about working on and in the business, right? And so that's, that's in the business stuff on the businesses. What projects, what systems have you been procrastinating about? How many of you have not learned how to use your damn CRM? And uh, maybe you haven't set up the campaigns and done all those kind of things. By the way, we have a great YouTube video. If you still are like perplexed over what CRM I should use for my business, go watch our YouTube video on that. Go to the go just Google WBNL Coaching on YouTube, and you will see a, a recent video I did on how to select the right CRM and then how to actually use it and leverage it. And while you're over there, Matt has been doing some awesome Canva marketing videos um i love the one is it up already the five yeah i went up today tips. Yeah. wow great stuff there those are nice like seven eight minute videos that will really get you fired up about um and it's another thing to look at right now at the end of the year don't you think that it would be a great what would be the advice you give people about maybe leveraging something like canva to give their brand a refresh isn't that a great time to go back and, and maybe do some things so what are some advice that you could give folks no, i think it's that. that i mean just as far as your brand goes all together because you build things as you go along and a lot of times if you don't have a if you don't have a focus on what you're doing in your marketing it can be very easy for your brand to go askew so it is a good time to do a little house cleaning and look back on your pieces that you sent out last year and what your websites and your your uh, social media sites look like so you can make it all one consistent you know, look and feel. So I, I, you know, I absolutely think you should do that on a yearly basis, probably even more of a quarterly basis to make sure that everything is it's so easy to miss things as you're adding new tools and systems to your, to your, um, to your portfolio. Here's the thing that I think you should really focus on in the, the end of the, the end of the year. Yeah. You want to finish the year strong, but remember everything you do at the end of the year is going to be your result for, for the first quarter of 2022. So that's why doing that year in review is so important. And it's even better if you do it as you go. But when you do that year in review and you see what you did in the first quarter of 2021, were you happy with those results? Because if you weren't happy with those results, what you do right now is going to be what's going to happen in 2022 next year when you're doing your year in review. So there's a lot to think about, a lot of things to juggle. It's not just clean, it's not just time to clean up, it's time to work, 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 work. Yes. Those are your- And it's not time to take the rest of the year off. 
because now do I think that everyone needs to take some time during the holiday seasons that are coming up? Absolutely. But it doesn't mean, you know, like a week doesn't turn into 80 days. Okay? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> or if you choose to do that, just know that your first quarter of 2022 is going to be your ramp up and you're going to be behind. So there's just so much that you could do right now to stay. And I like this time of the year for the whole refocusing my intention, getting up. And that's what I want to talk about next. So before I move on, what projects do you need to work on to finish? And then the last little piece of that is, do you have a personal goal, a personal commitment to yourself that maybe you could get fired up about right now and uh, start doing that? Okay, so let's move on to the point three, Matt. And that is, it's one thing to do all this planning and, and write down your goals, but if you do not do this thing, which is take action daily, Yep. <laughs> if wow. you don't find oh oh yeah that if you don't find um and reconnect with the the self-discipline this is really what this takes you can have a partner and you can have somebody helping you with this but if you're not committed to you in getting up and, and taking action then it, it's just a bunch of stuff written down on a piece of paper that's right, right. Yep. it is the action that you take and, and here's the thing i've come to realize we all get overwhelmed like oh there's so much to do no, you just have to take a little action, a little small step forward. And I, I have shared with you, I'm listening to Darren Hardy. I love his daily success motivators and his book, The Compound Effect. That's it in a nutshell. Small, consistent activity, like, for example, blocking out one to two hours every day yep. and following up and making the connections to the people that you know that you need to talk to. Uh, or looking for some more business, it consistently just doing that one thing, just that one thing, would would blow your business away. You forget about everything else. Just do that. Okay, but what happens is we go, yeah, that's not fun. So I think I'm going to go do this. And I'll go design this, and I'll go think up some other way to find a magic pill to have this business work for me. And it just doesn't work that way. Whatever you choose to do, if you're going to go farm or network or do social media or whatever, it takes time, consistency, and doing it every day, at least five days a week. Uh, so what uh, what activities are you committed to doing? So one to two hours, five days a week of some type of lead gen, which could be open houses, right? I, I think open houses are awesome and I'm yeah. committed to continuing to do more of them. And so a goal for this next 80 days is, you know what, I'm going to do 10 open houses between now and the end of the year or 20 open houses between now and the end of the year. I promise you, if you did that, you would have business, whether it's business for today, maybe, but you could definitely have business for uh, next year as well. The other big one right now is contact your people in your database. This is a time of the year. There's all kinds of reasons between now and the end of the year to reach out to people that you haven't been talking to. We talk about this all the time here on the podcast and in our training. Maybe you set a goal. I'm going to make five connections every day, five connections every day with people I already know. And it could be anything from just checking in to doing that market analysis, right? Right now, somebody you know owns a home. The market is shifting and it's still high. It's still a seller's market. When's the last time you did a CMA for people? Just do one of those a day and take the time and do it in a video. That's the, this, we talk about this a lot, right? I mean, how many times we talk about just do a video CMA? And what I mean by that is go get Loom, L-O-O-M dot com, the Chrome extension. Put it on your Google Chrome. It's free. Keep the video to under five minutes. This extension is free up to 25 videos, okay? So look. Even if you just want to do, and then it's only 10 bucks a month to have this loom, but why don't you make a commitment to do 25 videos between now and the end of the year? And all you do is go into your MLS, pull up the comps, get yourself ready for it, and then record a quick video looking at the person's comps saying, hey, Matt, I just want to go ahead and this is something I'm doing for everybody right now because the market has been so insane this year. I don't know if you knew your your price um your equity has gone up this much or your appreciation has gone up 20 percent in your neighborhood since last year um so i just wanted to pass this on to you um if you have any interest at all in talking about um, putting your home on the market or if anything's changed with your home just give me a call even if they don't want to sell right now the fact that you did that by the way i think that's something you should do once a year for the people that are in your database okay yeah. well, look, at that, look at that neighborhood jan that you've been uh, uh working there in clearwater 33 percent appreciation in the last uh, year over year yes so what? that is nuts right yeah. so what are we doing sending out postcards postcards are on the way matt actually helped me with that because it was like i feel like people want to know the good news did you know that you're your community has had a 30% increase of appreci price appreciation since September 
year over year. I mean, that's crazy. That's one of the highest I've seen across the country. Yeah. It's about 18 to 20% right now. But 30 to 33% in this one condo community in Clearwater. So exciting stuff. And then it's like a plan to follow up with those folks and continue and do another mailing. And in and, and good old-fashioned mail, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to come back and say it works, okay? Because, you know, you spend some money and you, you don't, you're not going to get a huge return, you know, but if you can get 1%. If I send out 300 and I get 1%, what is that, three people, three listings, I'll take it. Yeah, no kidding. Even one, I'll take it, right? All right, other things that you could be doing right now to have easy connections with people is when's the last time you did some kind of a client gratitude event or a party or a, are you in a position somewhere where you could invite your top clients and just have a get together because it's been almost two years since you've been able to do that? Or is there some place you feel comfortable doing that? Could you host an educational seminar? Or do you want to jump into farming and get back into doing that? which is what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at very, I've been doing studying and I'm looking at more than just doing one blast of an email. I want to commit to a farming plan that would also include holding open houses in the area, people seeing my signs, all the success, success tactics I've talked about forever, right? So got to take action daily. So this is the time to make those adjustments and just making the recommitting. You, you probably committed to those things at the beginning of the year, but did yeah. you actually do it? Huh? And now for 80 days, you could be super focused on, on, and this is the last part I want to talk about is taking some action daily towards your goals. So you can affirm and you can use affirmations and visualizations coupled with action. Okay. So I really do believe you turn your goals into affirmations so you can get up every day in your morning routine and say, I take, I'm taking three listings between now and 12, 31, 21. I have three listings, you know, I have three buyers, I have whatever those deals are. I have completed my setting up my CRM by 1231. Whatever the four or five things that you're committed to doing, you look at that every single day. You take some type of positive step towards it every day, some action towards whatever they are. Don't put 10, 20 things on your list. Yeah. Choose five top, you know, five things. You know, maybe there's three main goals of, of business that you want to accomplish, and maybe you're going to finish a project, and maybe you're going to recommit to your uh, morning routine, as an example, right? But to get up and do that every day, and uh, and, and work the, the daily routine to me is the helps with the mindset. And when I skip totally. it, I'm not in the same mindset as if I do it. And it doesn't have to be like this big. I have to do everything. It could just be listening to a meditation or walk, taking a quick walk. Did you, you had your walk got cut short today? Right? Yes, we had inclement weather, but you know what? Just that little bit that I was out, it was able to, be, you know, was able to focus, clear my mind and really decide, you know, kind of prioritize my day just in the time yeah. that I was out there. So you can cut it short. It doesn't have to be the same as long as you do something right. every single day. And then we don't need to put so many things on our plate. So I think my message today is review where you've been, decide what you need to refocus on. Let go of things that are not working for you. Yeah, Recommit true. to a smaller amount of powerful activity, starting with something for yourself. Maybe it's a personal goal, a, a, a primary personal goal, and then a, bit, a couple business goals that you can accomplish between now and the end of the year, uh, which then will allow you, as we go through the rest of business planning this month, we'll start fine-tuning some of those systems and give you some ideas and some strategies of what you need to do to go get those listings or to get more buyers and so on. Uh, to fine tune your system so that you're leveraging the right technology and you're you know maybe delegating things or you know there's so many things that we're going to talk about as we move through this month that we've learned in the last year mm -hmm. from working within our team within our team in uh, our team in Vegas our team here at WBNL Coaching and how we've been able to accomplish think about how much we've accomplished we we need we've been doing this a little bit ourselves right oh, totally to go uh, Matt and I in particular have been doing a lot of talking about what we've accomplished this year what we the systems that we've put in place what's working what's not working and then we're you know and what we're committed to and what we're committed to is to continue to produce quality content through the podcast and through our youtube channels and some other things to get out there and, and reach as many people as possible so that can turn into some sales for us right so we're welcome to talk with you so next week we are going to talk about the fundamentals of writing smart goal, smart goals and uh, dive deeper into those five, you know, five or six areas of your life that you write the goals in. 
And I'm going to challenge you to this 80 day. By the time this next week, it'll be less than 80 days. But yeah. I'll challenge you to the end of the fourth quarter, you know, activating that superpower during the fourth quarter. So you have a great first quarter in 2022. It's awesome. Good right. stuff. So don't forget to go over to their show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com, episode 184, and download those good – well, actually, go sign up for our mini course, and you'll be able to download those great uh, great helpful tools uh, that will walk you through this process uh, starting from what we talked about today, but through all the rest of the month as well. Good stuff. All, all right. right Ryan. That's it. So we're here we are, another end of a week. Ready for a new week, ready for a new month. I know it's and crazy. 80, 80 days. The countdown begins. I love it. Well, my sweet P and I celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary this week. What? 30 years. What the Congratulations. Hell? Oh my gosh. So she's a school teacher. She had conferences all week, so we did nothing for our anniversary except for had Taco Tuesday. Which, you know, that's a pretty good thing to do on your anniversary, I would say. Uh, but tonight we are going to the happiest place on earth, which we are so happy to be going back there after, you know, the closure of COVID. Have a little wine, little cheese, little walk around, little look at people. You know, maybe ride a ride or two. It's all going to be good. I'm Excellent. Looking I hope the weather holds for you as it's supposed yeah, to. Yeah, it's actually only supposed to rain this morning. It's just, you know, this this rain is a much needed thing here in California. Right. And it started raining last night and kind of sprinkled all night long. It's, it's actually really great. So everything's right. nice and damp, which is awesome. But it's supposed to be clearing up here pretty soon, which I am loving. So what else, Jenna Brown? What are you doing this weekend? The, uh, probably looking at some open houses, working with some buyers. Uh, uh, I will be watching the Bulldogs take on the Auburn Tigers or War Eagles, whatever they are using as their as their uh, mascot. <laughs> I've never seen it. They have two mascots, okay. two names. But, yes, that's going to be exciting. And we got football going on. we got the baseball playoffs happening. Uh, if you're a sports enthusiast, as I am, it's a great time of the year. We've got hockey starting. It's very exciting. <laughs> very, very, very cool. Well, once again, I just want to remind everyone to uh, go over and check out our website, wbnlcoaching.com. And we really do want you to join our Dream Builders. We have a live workshop coming up on the 19th of October, which is just, gosh, a couple weeks away now, right? Yeah, less than two weeks away. Uh, where we will be discussing as we will every every time we do a workshop, ask us anything, but also we're going to be talking about using video, um, which, you know, Lord knows we've never talked about before, <laughs> but it always bears repeating. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. So go over there to the website, wbnlcoaching.com and check that out. And please go check out our YouTube channel. Like Jan mentioned earlier, go to YouTube, just type in WBL Coaching and subscribe and like our stuff because uh, yeah. we are actually very proud of the, the stuff we've been putting up. So we're, we're, we've been doing it consistently. You know, you talk about that, you know, after so many years and finally it starts sinking in. We're doing it. And finally ah, we see well, that consistency, consistency does work. A little small well, steps yeah. consistently over time get you the massive results you want. All Thank right, you, Darren well. Hardy. Well, everyone, we get out there, be safe, get up, get out, be forever wandering, but not lost.